Paul was in Poseidon Antioch when he was asked by the synagogue leaders if there was anything he had to say to the people. Paul did have something to say. Since Paul was a boy, he'd studied the Holy Scriptures, the Word of God, and Paul knew that God was telling a bigger story than some people realized. Paul wanted the people to know the whole story, that most people knew the beginning of the story, when there was nothing but darkness. And then God said, Let there be light. And a magnificent light shone through the blackness, but God was just getting started. He created everything. The earth, the sky, the stars, the oceans and mountains. And he created all the animals. The lions, the seagulls, the dolphins, and all living creatures. And in his own image, God made a man named Adam and a woman named Eve. Where am I? It's called Eden. God loved Adam and Eve. He gave them a magnificent paradise, and Adam and Eve took care of it and enjoyed all it had to offer. But God gave them one very important rule to follow. You may eat fruit from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But that one rule proved difficult to follow. Come on, Eve, just try it. You know you want to. A serpent tempted Eve to eat the fruit from the forbidden tree, and Eve couldn't resist. Eve offered the fruit to Adam, and he also had to have a bite. They broke God's rule. They sinned against him, and their punishment was severe. No longer could Adam and Eve enjoy closeness with their creator. He was perfect. They were not. So they were banished from paradise and far from the presence of God. Sin was in the world, and it began to spread as more and more people began to fill the earth. People lied, they cheated, they murdered. They were far from paradise and far from God. Now Paul, in the synagogue at Poseidon Antioch, wanted to remind the people how God still wanted to be close to them how God had chosen the Israelites to be his people by giving a man named Abraham a special blessing. I will make you into a great nation. All nations on earth will be blessed because of you. Abraham's family grew into a great nation as God had promised, the nation of Israel. They grew so much, the other nations were scared the Israelites might become too powerful. So the Israelites were taken as slaves in Egypt. Yet even then, God was still with the Israelites. He sent a man named Moses to rescue them from slavery. Pharaoh, let my people go! And with his mighty power, God led his people to freedom. Unfortunately, sin still lived in the people's hearts. They didn't trust God to take care of them. God gave them rules to follow, a way to be close to him again. Israel, listen to me. Here are the rules and laws. Learn them well. But the rules were too hard for the people. So God appointed judges who fought battles in the Lord's name and performed remarkable feats of strength and courage. But still, the people didn't put their trust in God. They wanted a king like the other nations. Now, one of those kings was King David. God knew David was special. Oh, David, son of Jesse is a man dear to my heart. He will do everything I want him to do. Prophets predicted that someday a Messiah would come. He would be a descendant of King David, and he would finally save the people from sin and bring them back to God. He took the sins of many people on himself. He gave his life for those who had done what is wrong. Joseph was a descendant of King David, who himself was a descendant of Abraham, the one who God had promised long ago all nations on earth will be blessed because of you. And God fulfilled his promise when Joseph's wife, Mary, gave birth to a baby boy, Jesus. Jesus did not sin. He was perfect. His whole life, Jesus loved people. He healed people who were sick and hurting, and he shared his wisdom with all who would listen. But his enemies had him arrested and killed. Paul stood silently for a moment in front of the synagogue, letting the weight of his story rest on their shoulders. Then he continued. Listen, fellow children of Abraham. Listen, you Gentiles who worship God. This message of salvation has been sent to us 
By finding Jesus guilty, the rulers in Jerusalem made the prophet's words come true. They did everything that had been written about Jesus. They killed him and buried him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead. <gasps> My friends, here is what I want you to know. Your sins can be forgiven because of what Jesus has done. Through him, everyone who believes is set free from every sin. The law couldn't make it right in God's eyes. Jesus can. Many people followed Jesus because of what Paul had taught them. It was important they had heard the story, the whole story. God's big story of love and forgiveness that was about everyone.